Chiba and in today's Car Chronicles, I just wanted to check in. I am, it's Monday, it's my day off, but I'm headed to work for a couple of hours. We actually have drug testing today and since I'm the PLC, I have to be there at least for today so that I can bring everybody up to speed on how the process is. Sorry about that. I just wanted to chit chat. I'm headed to work. It's Monday. It's my day off. But I got to go in for a couple of hours. And I thought that I would turn on the camera and have a little chat. Um, nothing in particular is going on. I am absolutely loving my hair. Um, thank you everybody that commented good positive thoughts about my hair i'm absolutely loving it i i just feel free i just feel free it's short it's no nonsense i get up and spray a little aloe vera juice on it do my fingers like this and it goes right back to where i wanted to be like i did try to lay that lay it down and put apart and it didn't really come out right I'm going to have to learn and grow with my hair. I know it was sudden. I know ju I just talked about my lock journey. I even kept one or two locks. This was the longest one. And then this was the one in the front with the jewelry on it. So I kept these two. I'll probably throw them away, but just holding on to it. I really did want to keep my hair. I did. However, comma, there were so many spots that um, were really, really thin that me and my husband talked about it and like why you can get stuff to thicken up your hair and stuff like that. I didn't want to cause more damage to my hair than what was already there. So I figured I would cut out the locks and just work on conditioning my hair, thickening my hair, etc. Maybe I'll go back to locks. Maybe I won't. But I see so many people that are really thin and balding around this area. And I feel like when you notice the thinning, if you continue to get your hair twisted, continue to get your hair styled, it's not gonna get better, it's gonna get worse. And I like my hair to be styled. I don't like my hair. I can deal with it being nappy at the roots because it's natural, but at some point I'm gonna want it to look neat. I like to keep it looking as neat as possible. So. I just felt like the best move for me was to just go ahead and cut it off and start fresh. Now that it's cut, first of all, I was like, you can just start over. But now he's like, I really like that. I really like just seeing your natural hair. You don't have to have locks. So we'll see. I change like the wind. I could be this way today and that way tomorrow. I know I really, 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 really wanted locks and when I got them and I started going through the process. I hated them because I'm so used to changing my hair. And you're gonna see, um, now that you are seeing me without locks, because since I've had this channel, I've had locks. But now that you're seeing me without locks, you'll see the many phases of me. I could be in a ponytail today, an afro tomorrow, braids the next day. I just love changing my hair and so, that was another reason that I kept styles in my hair because I like changing it up. So we'll see. We'll see what tomorrow brings. But for now, just to see it back in an afro and natural, it's fun. I love it. I feel free. I don't feel self-conscious. I feel beautiful. I do feel like this look is missing some. I have on studs today because I'm headed to work. But I feel like this look deserves some big hoop earrings, some eyelashes, and lip gloss. 
I don't know about the eyelashes because I really like being just natural. Maybe I'll just put on some mascara. I don't know. Let's see how I feel when I'm going somewhere. But I think that this is what this look deserves. So stay tuned. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's all I want to talk about. My hair. I just love it. <laughs> but anyway, oh um, man, I, 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 I just had to go to work today, but I didn't want to go to work today, if that makes sense. Like, I knew I didn't want to manage this process from home. I wanted to be here at least today. I'm really toying with what am I going to do with tomorrow, and I'm, am I going to wait until I go back to work? Wednesday to resume am I going to allow somebody else to, to manage this tomorrow like I don't know things that I own I'm real protective of people don't treat your assignments like they would their own nothing against my team my team is awesome but everybody has enough on their plate with their own captain ships that it's hard to give somebody else something of yours to try to oversee when they already have so much of their own because they're not going to have that like you. Because it's a work in. It's a work around. It's I gotta do my own stuff and try to get this done type of situation. So I wanted to go in today get the ball started at least show them how it's supposed to be done. So if for some reason they do need to step in on the day that I'm not
gonna try to cook a really nice meal today, but since I had to come to work, I didn't. And my husband, I could tell, was a little disappointed. But I think I'm gonna get up in the morning and um, I need to think out what I wanna cook, but I wanna do a nice meal. So I probably get up in the morning and start cooking early so he can enjoy it before he goes to work. Um, and I don't know what it's gonna be, and I know it's no point of putting it in the comments because this won't post for a couple of days. I have a video posted tonight for tomorrow, then I have one I have to edit. The one I have to edit is actually the one telling you guys about me cutting my hair, and that'll be for the next day, so this is the third day. the camera on and cook it with you and hopefully it'll give you inspiration but anyway i didn't have a whole lot to talk about i just wanted to turn the camera on and talk to you it's a beautiful day outside my husband says we need a vacation y'all where should we go we don't want to go far we want to take a long weekend and we don't want to go far so where should we go like you're scared to go to the beach. You're scared. I mean, it's a pandemic. So where do you go? I need some ideas because I want something cute and kind of romantic. Something just like something that we'll be able to just let our hair down and enjoy. So if you have any ideas, especially if you live in Georgia and you have any ideas, Drop them in the comment section below. Honestly, I'm wondering if we should go up to Amicalola Falls. If anyone, if we went up there for a day date. We went for a day date and it was really nice. We walked to the top of the waterfall and back down. Took a lot of fun pictures, had a picnic. It was really fun. So, and they have cabins out there and they also have a hotel out at the falls. So I'm wondering if we should go to somewhere like Amicalola Falls or where. So if you have, just drop what you think in the comment section. I need your help, okay? All right, you guys. So if you made it to the end of this video and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I need you to be a part of this family. I love you guys. I'll talk to you in the next video, okay?